Hello, fine people. Even though the little swirly thing is going around and around, I'm pretty sure that you can see me now. So, they are done. How exciting. I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna show you. I can't see them very well. So, where's my little booties? Behold. Behold the blueberry cinnamon rolls. Little touch of cinnamon, mostly blueberry. So what I get to do now is I get to drizzle. So that might be kind of nice. So this drizzle, if you haven't been watching the other, <laughs> the other, other two parts of this series, is a lemon, a full, uh, full lemons of a uh, full lemons worth of zest and about four tablespoons of lemon juice, castor sugar, a little, uh, little bit of butter, and a little bit of salt. So I'm going to do a little drizzle here and just coat these bad boys in just some deliciousness. Oh yeah, this is really, this is really the tough part of my job. Um, this is really difficult, you guys. I didn't realize it doesn't look like it, but um, I joke. I am so excited about the giant box of blueberries behind me that I get to make all sorts of delicious creations like this with. And uh, cast iron, a superstar here. Cast iron is beautiful for baking. This is the second time in as many weeks that I've made uh, done some baking with my, my cast iron. This is the 12 inch. Made uh, sweet biscuits for strawberry shortcakes around Father's Day a few weeks ago. And now these beautiful sweet rolls. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be just kind of good. And after I do this, I'm going over to my friend Ashton's house and I'm gonna drop off half of these beautiful bad boys so that her little family can enjoy a taste of the summer. That should be just in time for kiddos coming home from daycare, that they can have the mother's time off. Oh, this is not going to be cool. No, I wouldn't want to waste any of this. And I'm just going to make sure all the little spots are covered. Here, with the back of my spoon, it's looking pretty good. All right, another shot. <laughs> Those are just looking ridiculously good. They're still warm. They had to sit for a minute out of the oven um, before they were ready for the glaze, just so the glaze doesn't completely disintegrate. Uh, from heat, and I've got my nylon slotted turner. It's a small jobby, which is kind of nice for things like this. And I'm gonna get a plate. One for me, one for Dad, and I'm pretty sure she's gonna be interested in this. And let's just choose one of these small guys here. Oh. Oh. Wish you were here, although then we'd have to share, and I might get some complaints from my friend Ashton if I was to share this too broadly, right Ashton? It's just a little bit of a drizzle there that I just don't want to, you know, waste. Okay, should I taste this? I purposely ate very little for lunch so that I could justify this deliciousness. Mm. <laughs> Ashton, where did you find this recipe? It's ridiculously good. Oh yeah, that's good. That, um, the blueberry filling, especially with the fresh berries, oh, it's killer. 
And I wondered if it would be, um, if it would be impa as impactful as the cinnamon filling, but I assure you, it is. I did um, do a few modifications. I'm going to repost the um, the recipe. I did add vanilla to the dough because vanilla, right? I mean, you can't really go wrong there. And I did add a touch of salt and cinnamon to the filling. But that's about all I changed. Um, and I baked it for 35 minutes at 350. That is not... In the indicated in the recipe, it's very kind of freeform recipe. It's not very instructive. Uh, so thirty five minutes at three fifty for um, these beautiful bad boys. Again, I'm just going to show you the back again. So the twelve inch cast iron is king yet again. The next thing I really want to try making in this thing is deep dish pizza. I think Rick might be excited about that. So thanks for joining in my three-part series on a Monday for any anybody watching. Oh, there's somebody watching. How exciting. Thanks for watching. And um, happy summer. It feels like it's finally here today. And so, so we're going to get outside into our garden now after we deliver some, some sweet rolls to our friend Ashton. We're going to get outside in our garden and get off the Facebook. And, uh, but it's lovely to spend a little bit of this day with you. So take care. See you soon.